welcome to a new episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. I'm now walking into the woods. It's a bit scary, I have to say. <laughs> but yeah, as you just saw, um, we started out with some fog just now. I sadly didn't catch any of it. It's slowly, or no, actually quickly disappearing right now um, because it is supposed to become a sunny day and I think the sun is coming up right now. And I'm trying to find my way to the fields. There's some fog there, so let's go chase that. Don't you know where the wild roses grow? There are tears in the snow. You know what? We're gonna start straight away with a self-portrait. Okay, this is gonna be a strong start. Good morning exercise. So I hope that worked out. Let's check. Looks good. Right, first shot of the day. If that worked out, I think it's a strong one. And it did. I indeed think this is a strong start. I love that I got a little bit of the fog at the end of the road, which just adds a nice little touch of atmosphere. Overall, this photograph really has a nice atmosphere, I find. One thing I'm however not entirely sure about is that road sign. I actually like it because it adds some context and even gives off the location to an extent, but at the same time it's a bit distracting because of the red colour, which is pretty intense and distracts from the actual subject. <sighs> Do you see the moon there? That's a cool shot. I really like how it's in between all of these branches. Just the sky has a little bit too little texture for me. You know what, let's get it anyway. <laughs> So I had switched to the 50mm to get a bit closer to the moon and this is the result which I think turned out pretty cool. It's not quite what I was hoping for when I started my morning. I was hoping for a warm pink clouds kind of sunrise but this blue actually isn't too bad either. If I hadn't shot this myself I would probably think that this is at blue hour after sunset not sunrise which is always a great photogenic mood and I think that feeling is evoked by this photo quite nicely. The way the bright moon contrasts the sky and the dark trees too, it feels good. So according to the map, if we just walk along here, there should be some more fields and I'm really liking that there's a cloud over there so maybe we'll be able to catch just a bit of fog. We have a lot of time left with the fog. I've set up a shot just of this simple thing here. And I'll be running into it again. What a lucky moment the camera snapped here. I just did that turn while running, not thinking that the camera would actually fire at that moment, but it did, and I think the result is pretty cool. Now, instead of the usual subject that is running away from the camera, I've got this interesting alternative pose. The composition is as simple as it can get, very minimalistic, maybe I should have tilted even higher to get more negative space which might have added to the photo's character. But nevertheless, overall I'm really happy with the outcome. Then I decided to walk onto the field and look for another similar composition but from this angle because that has a key difference. Okay, so because of the wind, um, the cloud is moving quite quickly but you just saw some, some t at some moment the sun was looking just amazing. I'm hoping that we're going to get that moment again and then I can get the shot. I don't want to be waiting around because there's a composition to be had there. But this one's just so much more impressive that I really want to get it. The problem is I need to change the lens in between. 
Okay, I think there's not much, doesn't make sense to wait for too long because I don't want to be wasting time in these kind of weather conditions. So we're going back to the 35 mil. <laughs> It's not very easy to see. Um, but yeah, I hope that shot worked out. And I would really like to get that shot now, but uh, <laughs> there's no shot to be had at the moment, at least not with the sun as it was just a, a moment ago. Here is the shot. So after getting distracted by a different shot for a while, I did end up getting this one, which is similar to the one before, but the key difference I was speaking of is the angle. The first shot was at a lower angle, so that the ground was just topped out at one point, building the horizon. This shot, on the other hand, is straight, or maybe even tilted slightly downwards, so that you can see beyond the point I was standing, as the slope continues to go down until we again end up at the horizon. This gives the photo more depth, and hence a stronger feeling of vastness of the space, which I like. So, I think I prefer this photo. Something about this tree is really beautiful somehow. I think I might just get a photo just of the tree. So here is the shot, and I still stand by my intuitive opinion of this scene I had while shooting. This is really beautiful. It's not special, not trying to be anything special or anything specific, just a scene of a tree in the fog, and something about the atmosphere is beautiful and calm. Then I came to the parking area here where I spotted another potential composition where I'd place myself in frame again. Okay, need to get into position. Here's the shot, and what I like here in contrast to the previous photo is that it's a bit more complex. I think photographs can contradict each other and still be beautiful. So while the previous one I liked for its simplicity, that does not mean that I dislike photos with a higher level of complexity. Each shines in their own way, and I think a balance is the key to a successful series. So only simple shots like the previous one would probably not work, but in contrast with this shot we can appreciate the unique aspects of each one. That is why I wanted to shoot this scene in the first place, because it had many elements that could be balanced in a composition to be unified as subjects of an overall interesting photograph. In this case, the trees, but also the patches of grass inside the sea of gravel, intrigue me. So let's see, I kind of like this place. Then I switched sides and found another angle that could work. Okay, so I'm going to get another very similar shot. The idea here is just that uh, because this is a parking area, but it's all empty, this ground that is not natural looks sort of deserted, which I've been finding quite interesting. So I got one shot here where I'm standing now, and now I'm going to frame myself in between this and that tree right in the middle there. It's really hard to tell where in frame I'm standing because of course I'm trying to stand in the middle which would be the most satisfying at this point so yeah I hope this is working out. This is the shot and my position actually worked out better than the footage had me anticipating. I'm pretty on spot in the middle in between the trees and I think not only that but the other elements as well make this photo pretty cool. The patch of grass in the foreground decorates the composition with a sense of depth and the other trees stand as elements but also as pieces of subframes that frame the subject, in this case, me. Excuse me! What is this? 
I'm trying to film a photography video, not a festival recap. Yeah, that's it. Give me similar things after that. Thank you. Hey! Why can't you just keep playing my sleepy little... Wait, what are you doing? Why are you running away? Ugh. I don't know why I did what I did. Somehow I think that I lost my head. Don't know why. Um, I, I noticed. So why are you singing though? You know, can, can I just have my music back? I really don't want to miss any shots. I don't want to change who you are. The things you what? say is always one step too far. What are you talking about? Played my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. What, what should I be sorry for? I guess that we should say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. I mean, yeah, maybe I was a bit harsh. But you know, the way you partied in my video and just ran away with my music, that really made me a bit angry. But I guess I, I went a bit too far. I'm sorry about that. Really, I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry for all that has been. No, I can't let go. Tell me you want something more. Baby, I'm sorry for everything. Come back to me. As you might have guessed by now, this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. In case you don't know, they are the company that provides the music I use on the channel. By using their music, I avoid any copyright troubles on YouTube. You should know that when it comes to music, I am pretty picky. You know, I like these slow, almost sleepy tracks in my behind the scenes videos. And due to my pickiness, I actually use multiple sources of music and Epidemic Sound is one of them for some key reasons that I think make them stand out. Let's start with the obvious, they've got a bunch of music, and I mean a lot. All high production quality of course, and additionally they have a huge library of sound effects for when you need those. What I particularly like with Epidemic Sound is how specific you can be when searching music. So when I have a clear idea of what I need, I can narrow down my choice really nicely to find a suitable track. When you go to browse and scroll down, you'll find this long list of specific genres that you can pick from, and I really enjoy using the platform this way. So if you need music for videos and such, I can recommend Epidemic Sound, and right now they actually have a Cyber Week special deal going on, which will give new signups a 30-day free trial and an extra 2 months with 75% off. This discount is only available for 5 days until December 2nd. You can check it out via the link in the description. Huge thank you to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring the channel, and now let's get back to the video. Oh, but that's also beautiful. <gasps> There's the sun. Oh. <laughs> the sun is gone again. Ah, uh, I'm really liking that tree there. Here's the shot, and I like it. I really enjoy the look of that wavy tree or bush that almost looks like a person waving their arms. That's certainly the subject of the photo for me. Apart from that, the atmosphere is phenomenal. I love the combination of fog and sun, which is really something special because the sun is literally the source of destruction for the fog, as it burns the fog away. But the few minutes in which the fog still withstands the sun's rays can look quite atmospheric and romantic. Okay, the sun is back. Oh, this is gorgeous. Come on, I, please hold it. Okay, okay, this is my chance. I hope this worked. 
Yes, it worked. I was lucky enough to have the sun stay long enough to get the shot and I think it looks great. Adding the character, again, is such an effective way to give the photograph a clearer narrative layer in which you as the viewer can interpret whatever you want. I think this one turned out really good. Then, I was aiming to walk across the field here to the ridge, but first got distracted by the details of the plants here beside me. Ooh! I think that was a good one. <laughs> this is the result, and I think it's gorgeous. I love the lighting. Thanks to the fog, it becomes easier to use the sun as a direct backlight without having brutal contrast because the fog diffuses the scene to this soft and again romantic atmosphere. So I was enjoying this view to the ridge a lot and decided to try another self-portrait slash landscape here. Here's the result, and I think it's pretty cool, although I'm not sure whether my position isn't a bit too close to the edge of the frame. Also, I'm not so happy with the foreground on the left side, the field there feels a bit empty. Wow, look at this! So, just when I was posing here for the photograph, I thought the view down here looks amazing! So I thought, why not come here and check it out? Actually, yeah, let's just do the sand out. So I wanted to get a photo of this spot here, but to stay flexible, I decided to do it handheld. And just as I was setting up the composition, though, the clouds decided to cover up the sun, and so I waited, hoping that they will pass, and they did. So I had my sunrise plus fog kind of mood back and got this shot. I never thought I would say this, but maybe this is a bit too foggy. Let me explain. The fog here simply is from the passing clouds, and so as I first saw the scene, there was plenty of fog, but still little enough that I could look down the ridge. However, by now the sloping forest down there is barely visible in all the fog, which I think is a pity. I thought that the return of the sun was enough, but now I realised that maybe a couple more minutes of waiting would have given me a clearer view of the forest, but still the dramatic atmosphere of the fog. detail of the flowers. <laughs> I walked around on the field for a bit to find the optimal flowers and then set up a shot that was focused on the flowers but to add another element I did position myself in the background again. This is the result and I think it's wonderful. The idea worked out so that the negative space at the top is not too empty, but filled with just one small extra element. Nevertheless, the photograph is concentrated on the flowers, which are a great subject, I find. I really like those puddles as a detail, so let's go get that. So I think that should work. <laughs> It was time for yet another one of these, but I think this is actually one of the weaker ones from this morning. It's missing something, I think. The top half is a bit boring. Should I get it? Should I not? I really like the puddle with the long grass here, but it's so... I don't know. It's nothing spectacular, but maybe that's exactly the reason why I should get it, because I don't always want to get spectacular shots. <laughs> oh, it's 
now getting pretty windy up here, which is so cold. So as you saw, I decided to get the not so spectacular shot and I think it turned out all right. I actually really like how the road, the puddle and the grass interact. This time it's the addition of myself that I'm not liking so much. My position is much too far left. Center position would have probably worked. Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own Choices you make, what appears to be right Seems you just have no say I thought I still had three shots To your own states, it's easy to play along after you see what the choices came to be Like a storm that's passed on so that wraps up this morning session on Portra 400. It was so much fun exploring this area in the fog, and I was so lucky to have gotten all the fog. This was not the plan, actually. But you know me, I'm definitely not going to complain about it. I hope you enjoyed tagging along. Let me know your thoughts. Was there anything particular you enjoyed? Lastly, before saying goodbye, I'd like to thank the Patreon community for supporting the channel. If you're interested in Lightroom presets, extra videos, or postcard prints, you can check out my page via the link in the description. With that said, I shall see you again next week. Until then, goodbye.